Generals, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tournament Terrible <laughs> Depression <laughs> Anxiety. Words that are bad. Desert. As you can. If there's a winter mob for Tournament Desert, I mean, it still probably wouldn't be good. I mean, it'd be cool, but. We don't like Tournament Desert, in in short. No, not a, not a thing we like. I, I think We're that's what you can though. establish you from, mean, from you, our you can probably, I think everyone can draw that conclusion just from all of our casts ever. Um, right, so we're going to play as here, black and white. The old, say rising. Yeah, Michael Jackson here. Uh, it's going to be... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, Blake. <laughs> no, no, he, he did a song called Black and White. I wasn't making... <laughs> I wasn't poking fun at his skin colour. Jesus. The internet's going to kill me if you all say right, stuff like right. that. He has a song called Black and... He has a song called Black and White. Um, oh. Right, so we're in Shockwave. No, Black no. And, this what? is 1.4. Oh, this is 1.4. Oh, did we switch back? Yeah, then? you don't even realize that we're not in Shockwave yeah. anymore. Well, I didn't notice there was less cool units and stuff, but like, yeah. yeah. Okay, I didn't realize you actually switched games on me, and I didn't realize. So, so. it's rising as our nuke at the top, and we do have Sh Enter Shikari. I don't know if Enter's like a clan or something. I, I don't even know. But Shikari as our tank at the bottom, so going to be a tank versus a nuke matchup. Probably the best matchup. I really enjoy this matchup. I mean, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we played it a bit. I mean, it's just enjoyable because there's a lot of different like kind of counter systems and like the yeah. way that even just like the battle masters interact because like new battle masters are faster and like the, the event two battle masters coming out from there are, are better. Yeah. And you can just go for like dragon tanks. So you can go for yeah. There's all sorts of cool stuff you can go for. I I always get beaten by stuff like assault helixes like from the China tank when you're not ready for them. Like just just helixes coming out. Yeah. Like helixes and you're just like. I have no gats, and yeah. then you just lose. Scouting so, yeah. for that airfield is very it's important. A huge it, it is quite important to do. Battlemaster will find the flame tank, but it will also find an outpost. But the nuke is on top of the outpost, so the friendly fire took itself out. Gets the garrison though, nuke Battlemaster running away, gets the flame tank. I'm surprised that Shikari actually went for a flame tank. Yeah. It's, like, it's pretty interesting. Um, that being said, though, the flame tank was down the middle. Mm. And generally, like, you would see the the double nuke battle masters down the flanks. So the the battle ma the flame tank may have had a chance to actually sneak its way and burn down that power plant. Nice kiting here from Rising yeah. is able to secure the escape on that nuclear battle master. Yeah, that's how you play the matchup. Though. You really have to get two of them and kite one of them away. Um, because of course you're, you're going to be faster when you're getting away, so you can actually keep your battle masters alive. So really nice unit preservation um, from black and white there. But yeah, so setting it down the middle, you don't expect a, a tank to go down the middle like a flame tank. You expect it on the flanks. Yeah. It never goes down the middle. So that was actually nice mind games, I think, coming out from Shakira. And if he was able Sorry. to burn the power, it'd definitely be worth it. We actually have rather early props and as nuclear battle master wants to snipe the dozer, can he get within a range? Not well, actually range firing the dozer, but it's close enough he will be able to chunk it down. Not only will he lose the dozer, he will also delay the propaganda center. Very, very important in the matchup and a lot of nuke battle masters coming out. And a nice early one as well, even for this nuke versus tank matchup coming out as well. So that's been delayed and the fact that uh, Shikari knows about it. Uh, we'll have to see what comes out there. Black and White really abusing the, the lack of mobility coming out here. Um, but he's got two Vet2 two, two two battle, battle Masters camping the War Factory. They can take them down very, very quickly. And with only Nuke Battle Masters, he can't really engage effectively, losing the trucks. And trying to put a barracks, a good counter, because against the Tank Hunters, against the, uh, the Vet2 Battle Masters, you really want to have those Tank Hunters. They actually will lose one of those Battle Masters, though, due to Miss Micro not paying attention. So that's a nice play here. Meanwhile, in the middle, a bit of an engagement as well, losing a bit of those tanks. Shikari's just muscling his way through yeah. this. Once Shikari comes against on mass, and there's it's less kind of Ooh. one versus one nuke versus regular Battlemaster matchups. Oh, and the prop center goes down, so the Overlords are coming out. Lost the Dozer as well here. Overlord really shakes things up because the Overlord can engage head on as well as also then kiting. Dozer Garrus. here stands for black and white. As for Shikari, did he actually lose both of his Dozers? Oh, he did. He's out of dozers. Yeah, I think the second push coming through from Black and White actually took that one out. So, it's not the end of the world. You can still win the matchup with two War Factories. It still works. There's a race for it, though. Because until your opponent gets the Copper Bomb, you're fine. Mm. But once the Copper Bomb and the Artist Strike comes out, they can snap your buildings for free. And you can't rebuild those. Likewise, yeah. when you're versing a USA, Overlord getting caught needs to back away from this one. It can outrange those Battle Masters, and it can also 
out from maneuver them so you can kite those battle masters but there's five of them six of them even and with the horde bonus though they're so so powerful tank hunt Hunters coming out, gonna be pretty strong though, but we'll lose the power nonetheless. Black and white with the Lotus on the side, they did secure the capture. Nothing on the other side though for Shikari. Hasn't got for his one yet, and the attack have survived. So yeah, this is a pretty big push coming out now. Now it looks like the supply trucks are gonna be sniped. Lotus can shut down the tank hunter and he will mm. the tank. Battlemaster. Yeah. Um, actually, really nice blocking. By booting a power plant, he's actually trapping his own dozer. Nice that is really nice play. Really nice play, yeah. It keeps him alive. He saw the attack out, coming in. He's like, I oh, need to keep he's gonna his crush dozer these. Here. He's going for the crush on the battle master, taking a lot of damage, but he will get to three of these battle masters, even four, four of, of them. them. Gets taken out, though, but a really nice play. Meanwhile, the Overlord getting pretty low. Another one down the bottom. Battle masters reigning through. Veteran C3. On both of these battle masters, does he have another overlord coming? And he's going to need to, because the battle master it's trying to collapse its way through to get the dozer, get but it's just the the perfect positioning. It's we fantastic. Meanwhile, oh here we go. Lotus actually got the shutdown there onto the battle master, followed it up with an ECM. So now Lotus is moving. Nuke battle masters do go on cleanup crew, securing the vanilla battle masters on the side there of. Shikari. Yeah, Lotus is going to be doing work nice. now. Now there's ECMs and Lotuses. Individual battle masters just aren't going to work anymore. Yeah, backing yeah, away backing from away. that one. Nice. He's going to have to make sure he doesn't forget to shut down the other one. There goes the Overlord. There's some free veterancy for the Overlord. Thank you. Yep. Go. Takes a while to get those Overlords Nice ECM, Mike. Yeah. But the, the, the downside of those Vet2 Battle Masters is when they are killed, they do give over a lot well, of Vetrancy, Vetrancy, and the Overlords become so beastly when they get that up. But here comes more and more Overlords, and he won't have vision. Sorry, Battle Masters. He won't have vision on the Battle Masters until he actually is already within firing range of that War Factory. What do we have coming out? Something good. ACM. Uh, Probably against, not the best. Against two of them, though. It might get the one. No, nope, not quite. Oh. It will buy time for the sell, though, so it will get a bit of a refund. Dozer putting a command center. Nice response. Should be able to get that up in time because this is the last dozer for black and white. Yeah, and, and again, not only do you get a lot of veterancy from Battle Mafia, you also get a lot of general's points. So it will unlock General, the couple of Or the artillery strike rather quickly, but non stop production. He's just churning out so many of these tanks. Battle Masters, Outposts, Gats, and there is the Carpet Bomb. Okay, yeah, that's big news. The the rush is on for Shikari. He has to end this game soon. He's going to have no production. Well, not enough production once he loses that one. Lotus manages to get away. In cap the Oh, he's actually destroyed the old Eric. Oh, War Factory wow. goes down, as well as the two trucks as well. See... Shikari can probably afford to rebuild them, but can't rebuild the War Factory, so now he is capped at how many units he can produce. He's literally been halved in his unit production. Yeah, he's going to be floating his uh, resources. Lot, yeah, he doesn't even have a barracks to spend it on. Yeah, that he's sucks. just relying on like these vanilla units to try and muscle his way But through. there's so many of these battle masters and the veterancy and the horde bonus, he has to engage properly. So many battle masters here. He has to engage to get kills, he has Four to get sniper buildings. Though. ECM as well. Vet 3, Nuke Battle Master. That's pretty cool. The Dozer is running for its life. Oh, wow. And it needs to stay alive as well because the Command Center is going to be sniped. Yeah, there Black it goes. Black White doesn't respond to that in time. Artist Strike going for the War Factory. This is it. This is the end of the production. Here comes the Battle Master. Will he go for the Kite or will he try and crush them aggressively? His retreat is being cut off by the Vet 2, soon to be a Vet 3 Battle Master. Really bad angle here for Black and White. He's engaging at a poor angle. He needs to kite, he needs to move, but he's going to be taken out here. He needs to also build some tank hunters for the TNT. There's no more, there's no more production. Black and White's gone. He's lost everything. Wow. Black and White, oh no. Black and White is losing so much stuff, but Shikari has no production. He's really thrown this one. That's unfortunate. He could have won that engagement, no problems, if he actually either just engaged out in the open and kited, or if he just went balls deep for the crashes. But he was like duking behind the barracks and trying to focus the lone battle master. But there's a Lotus. There's a Lotus. No? Wasn't it? Oh, it's a new battle master and it's taking out all the buildings as well. That power plant is the last building. Oh, wow. Wow. So who's going to win this one? The Dozer's actually kiting and building building stuff at Not the Not for long. It's going to go down here, but 
Who can start down the building in time? Oh, look, I think it may be black and white. I think black and white's going down now, but there's so many vanilla battle masters. Oh. No oh, Shikari loses. Wow, that was you a close one. Victorious. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Black and white gets it in the end, and uh, I think that was rising. I could be wrong, though. Maybe Shikari that was rising. So. I'm just proving I'm not racist. This is Black and oh, White. Okay. This is Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> black and White won, so I decided we needed to put something on. I, I thought it was like a celebration victory music. Yeah, it is. For him. Kind of both. Right. I just don't want to be racist, okay? Alright, alright, all right, we get it, we get me. it. Alright. The internet redeems you. Thank you. Yeah. I like it. That game was incredibly close. Um, and both players played that really, really well, because Black and White, once he sniped the dozers down, then it's just like, oh no, my dose has been sized, so Shikari's just like, produce everything, and just like, produce <laughs> yeah. all the things, and just spammed out these vanilla battle masters for all he was worth in Black and White. Well, like, you shouldn't uh, say vanilla yeah. battle masters. Oh, yeah. Just, just tank general. Yeah. Regular ones that aren't nuke battle yeah, masters. Okay. <laughs> so, we're saying it the whole game, and I'm just like, probably shouldn't that's, be That's why that. I, I call them vet 2 battle vet masters. Vet 2 battle masters, yeah, yeah, that's a pretty good way of putting it. Um, just spam them out, Black and White's like, I have... Propaganda center overlords and mm. Shikari's like I don't care and then just muscled his way through yeah. it. So yeah. But again, nice I, th play. I think uh, Black and White would have been fine if he just micro mm. those overlords properly and if he just built more tank hunters. Like Battle Masters are terrible against tank hunters and he yeah. didn't really have any gats mixed in. And if he did, then he yeah. would have just lost to the overlords. So well played in a fun game. Yeah. When your when your power plans on a, a quarter, that literally game literally came down to a yeah. second. It was yep. literally a second. Black and white, yeah, he played that so well because he just delayed long enough to kill all the buildings mm -hmm. of, of in Shikari's base. Really nice use of General's powers as well. I know exactly like what level RD strike and the carpet bond to take out the war factory just to make sure all the buildings went down. Mm. Um, really nicely played. Fun game. Yeah, alrighty. Oh, see you next time. Folks. Thanks, guys.